Good morning, neighbors. It's Steph and me, Liam. Liam, where you want to tell our neighbors where we are this morning? Bach Tower. We are in Bach Tower in Lake Wales, Florida, and it is a national historic site. And we are going to go check it out. Liam and Dad got to come here for a field trip, and Liam wanted to show me all about it. I've been here before, but it's been a very long time and they've done some updates. So I'm looking forward to seeing all the fun things and taking you along. Come on. We're walking in from the parking lot and you can bring your things to have picnics and uh, you can pay an entry fee for your dog for $10. They have some cleanup stations. That's the visitor center over there. And uh, we're gonna go around to this side. Oh, this is the plant shop. You can buy some plants here. I love this quote. Make the world a bit better or more beautiful because you have lived in it. It's beautiful. We are in the museum, and this is a miniature replica of what it looks like. The top of the tower is a carillion, and this is what that looks like. It's beautiful, the tower. What you got there, Liam? So Liam is checking out the map. Can we check it out too? So this That's is- the tower. The tower, and here like is our one. map. Yep. Here's our map. We are going to the right. They have a beautiful cafe and the shop over here. They've got this uh, garden and waterway in the middle. So this is cement or concrete with pebbles in it. This is a beautiful walkway. I have to admit tile was probably easier, but this is beautiful. This is our pollinator garden to help the bees and the monarchs. This is stunning. So this is what they call the oval lawn. And Liam asked if he could run a lap. I'm hoping that will cont contain the wiggles. Uh, but here he comes. <laughs> you can tell that uh, a lot of locals like to come out here and have a nice breakfast and um, just enjoy the morning. So this is a not-for-profit and is ran by memberships and local sponsorships. And um, we will be turning off ads out of respect for that. And I will put the link in for where you can donate. If you would like to support local gardens and botanical gardens, they have a really cool thing where if you have a family membership, um, you also get a membership to other national um, gardens and things. So I will post the links in the comments. Okay. Or you get to feed fish. Okay. Liam is sad that we're not going to get to feed the fish today, but we do get to walk through this lovely garden, and you can hear the bells throughout the whole thing. And they are at one of the highest, if not the highest, point in Florida. So apparently, we are taking the long way to the top, but. Uh, it's a gorgeous morning. It's nice and cool out here. It is a bit of a climb, but all of the paths are mobile available and they do have scooters that you can rent when you get here. Note to self, I do recommend having a sun hat or a UV shirt because there is a lot of sun today and there is a lot of trees overhead. Pretty sure I've lost Liam, but I had to stop and take 
some video of these. These are stunning. They're called Nun's Orchid. They look like a cross between orchids and lilies. They're beautiful. Oh, look, I found him again. He keeps running away from me. <laughs> oh, he found the fish place. You answer? No, go ahead. Wanna, well, I was hoping you'd feed this guy. Look, look how big they are. So these koi are huge. The one I, I can see is about oh, six inches in diameter. Can you just feed it? Can you just put it right here in the front so we can see some fish? Okay. Just, no, just drop it. Okay, so you can help feed the fish for a quarter. Liam's trying to make him swim for it. Oh, but look. So because we're at one of the highest points in Florida. Oh, Liam's going to zoom down the hill head first. Here's one of the main reasons you come up here. Look at this view. I wanted to show you these um, orange trees down here because they're all in a row. They look like vineyards. Liam's making friends. This guy is having a nice snack to munch on. Giving Liam the side eye. Kind of like you eating your veggie straws with all those crunches. He's just not making all the noise. <laughs> You're a good boy. I love you. Oh, why thank you. Okay, goodbye now. I'm out of my nuts. So we were walking back from the Bells and we met some new friends that brought a bag of regular Cheerios to feed the fish. It's and cheaper than a... loved it. Yes, the fish loved it. There is a pond of black tilapia that have white lips. Uh, I didn't think there was anything in there uh, because you, it's hard to see them, but they are in there and they love the Cheerios and we were feeding koi right in the big pond. Cheerios, in That's right. Not honey nut Cheerios. Uh, just the regular, yeah, just the regular ones. And, um, we got a fun feeding experience with some other friends. Liam, what did we find? Uh, a circle. A circle. What do we call this? An arch, sure, but it's a circle with four entryways. In driving, what would we call this? Um, four-way exit? It, it is a roundabout. We found it. It's on, it's on the map. We were looking for it. He didn't know what we were looking for. So this, this is a roundabout. It has four paths leading into it, and it tells you where each of the next path leads. So this is headed back uh, to the visitor center in the parking lot. This is El Retiro. I think that is the mansion um, that you can tour for an extra few dollars or with your membership, you get one. And there are two pathways to the tower. So we have returned to the oval garden here. And Liam is once again doing a lap, even though he claims he's starving. And I'm headed to our exit to the visitor center. Tracks are in training. Good job. Yeah? Yeah, why don't you uh, collapse in the shade? Can't quite make it to the shade. <laughs> we might wear him out yet, okay. folks. Okay, we have gotten to the children's play area. And it's called Hammock Hollow. 
Metal may be hot from the sun. Liam is making up his own stories. Children have their own beautiful entrance here. So we have a special river walk. Uh, be careful, it says. And uh, dogs are not permitted back in this area. Okay, well, this is just really fun. It really does. Uh, the trees help it stay nice and cool in here and uh, helps you feel like you are, really are walking a river. Here's Liam climbing up a spider web. Tell me about this. You open it. Uh, uh, you got block. Take it home. And then after a certain time, you bring it back, close it. Well, is it to sit and read in these beautiful chairs behind us? Or is it... Um, no, those chairs aren't actually meant to be played with. Uh-huh. Okay, uh, so... No, they're actually to take home and bring back. Okay, so I see a favorite of ours. I don't know that Liam saw it. But we love pow pow fish, don't we? Yeah. Yeah. And we've got some beautiful books in here. So this is a borrowing library. Lost little Liam. I'm not entirely sure that you can uh, take them home, but they certainly have some beautiful places to sit and read and return it to the So what is this? Is this a butterfly? <laughs> Liam is our resident percussionist at home. And look at this, they've got actual uh, marimba type xylophones. Poor Josh is missing out. This is actually a songbird music tree and they've got two xylophones and a beautiful place to sit and then the butterfly bells. It's gorgeous. Okay. This is my absolute favorite. You can make sentences out of these rocks and build, uh, build your own words, build your own affirmations. This is my absolute favorite. I think we're gonna have to do this in the backyard. Here's what somebody left for us. We've got peace, joy, beauty, and butter, curious, be in the nature family. I am loving this project. This is so cool. Liam has made a friend, but not before he left us this beautiful saying. The world gives you all your friends. Kind of have to assume the S and the R and whatever, but the world gives you all your friends. Isn't that beautiful? And I left one over here. What? I don't think that's an actual one. But here's the one I put out. It's pause for rest. Coming in from the sidewalk, I noticed this is the Edward Bach Word Garden. I love it. And this is a fairy garden and it's got some beautiful little fairy houses in it and um, I can't show some of the other stuff because it's got uh, some you know children playing on it but um, they've got the music garden and the word garden and then they've got a frog hop and all sorts of fun stuff here these are adorable little fairy homes very nature friendly of course they're so cute they have a bird nest, so you can get the experience of being a baby chick, making your own stories. We have a beautiful hut here with an outdoor kitchen and so many fun ways to use your creativity. Here's a fun little stage where they can do different productions or educational things. Here's a beautiful little uh, flower garden. It's like a rib cage spine. Love that too. It's just a beautiful place to hang out and spend time with your children if you don't lose them because they're making friends. <laughs> okay, so we are walking back through uh, through the parking lot to the car. 
we hit the gift shop and maybe I'll post some pictures maybe on Facebook there it was just so crowded in there I didn't feel like I could film and really give you guys a good view and respect everyone else's privacy um, we got to also check their greenhouse they've got some beautiful things um, I'll share that in the pictures the too where you can buy plants. Y yes, they and you have can some... buy ice cream here. You can buy ice cream here, but the line was very long today. We uh, did make some friends while we were sitting in the kids' play area. And uh, place. it's a very cool place. They have a beautiful picnic space here um, for large groups. Um, I think when yeah. Liam came here, um, this is where they had their school buses parked and they could uh, do what they needed to do out here. So Liam, what was your favorite thing today? I'm thinking. Oh. Spending time with you. Thank you. Did you have fun doing anything else today? Uh, yes, playing with a friend. We made friends today. And I have this guy, which I like. Yeah, uh, Liam, what else was your favorite today? Remembering everything. Like, I remember this place. It was the place where we had lunch last night. Oh, so you have good... Okay, so you had... You have good memories, and now we've made uh, friends. And we enjoy the play area a lot more on our own. And how did you feel about the music and the fish? Uh, where? Here. Oh, yeah, yeah. There was a bell chamber mm -hmm. with uh, a piano. That's right. And the piano sounds bells. That's right. The Carillion bells are beautiful to listen to. Um, it is not available for open tours. I think you have to have a certain something or other to get that. They had some details on the website for that. But um, And uh, you can get a membership. That's right. The membership, I was very surprised when I was looking into that. Um, as a family membership, it uh, allows you access to uh, tons of other botanical gardens and museums and all sorts of things. And I uh, was very uh, pleased with that. So uh, hopefully we'll be doing more fun things like this. Right, Liam? He says yes. So thank you so much for joining us. Liam is uh, snacking and we're gonna be hydrating and making sure that we take care of ourselves. It did get a little warm out here, uh, didn't it, Liam? Yes. So we're gonna crank up the air and crank up the tunes and head back to check on Tank. But we had a lovely time here at Bach Tower and uh, highly recommend. Yes, Liam? Yes, highly recommend. And I will put in the notes some of the things you need to know. This is just an overview. There was so much here, I couldn't really um, cover it all and I couldn't, like I just, I couldn't do it all. <laughs> So it's definitely worth the trip down here. It is in Lake Wales. It's about an hour drive from Disney, maybe an hour and 15 minutes uh, with certain types of traffic or whatever, but it was definitely worth the drive for a fun day out of the parks. Right, Liam? Yes. Yeah. So thank you so much for watching and won't you be our neighbor? Bye-bye.